In Calipeg 1.8, we added a new sidebar. You can now find your tools and features here. Remember that you can go to the settings and change the interface from right-handed to left-handed at any time. We also added a paint bucket tool right here. I can select it, choose a color, and tap on an area to fill it. I can also maintain my pencil on the screen and move left or right to adjust the tolerance. And I can remove the pencil off the screen when I get the result I want. It is now faster to color your animation. We also added new options in the selection tool. If I tap on my selection tool here, I can select my basketball, continue to select my elements, and if I want to transform, I need to tap on the transformation tool. But now, I can tap on the selection tool, and if I enable the lightning icon here, when I select an area, it will directly switch to the transformation tool. And now, I can quickly transform different elements. Another new option of the selection tool is to invert the selection. If I tap on this icon, I select all the pixels of my current layer. Here it is my character layer. So if I select my brush tool, I can draw only in my character. I go back to my selection tool, I select again all my pixels and I click on the icon here, which will invert my selection. And now, I can only draw outside of my character. In the sidebar, we also added options here. The play button is now here. And I can also add a new sheet after my current one by tapping this icon. My new sheet appeared here. And it is two frames long, because now, in the settings, you can go to Timeline and set the value of the Timeline Sheet Length option, which will determine how long a new sheet will be. For example here, I can click on 4, and a new sheet will be 4 frames long. And it also works with a double tap. At the bottom of the sidebar, you can see two new icons. This one will send you back to the start frame, and this one to the end frame. In Calipeg 1.8, if you go to your brush list, you can now move your brushes around to rearrange them. If you want to reset the settings of a single brush, go to the brush settings, all the way down, and click on Reset. If you want to go back to the default brush and the default brush settings, you can go to the settings of the app and tap on Clear Tools. But keep in mind that it will delete all your custom brushes. If you go to your color panel and to the palette tab, you can swipe from right to left and export your palette. You can save your palette and share it with someone else who will be able to import it in their Calipeg with this import icon. The floating menu has also been improved. As usual, long press with two fingers to display the menu. Along with the copy and paste, we added a cutting tool. I can select my drawing, click on cut, go to a next sheet, and paste my element. Tap on the icon in the middle to display the color wheel. Your tools are still available on the external ring. You can long touch on any part of that ring to move your menu around. You can switch to the color sliders with this icon. Drag up and down on the circles to change the values. You can also type the hexadecimal value manually. Switch to the color wheel with this icon, and you can switch from your tools to the palette with this icon. It will display your current selected palette. To select another palette, swipe from right to left and click on select on any palette. You can add colors to your palette very quickly like this. Switch from your palette to your tools by tapping on this icon. This minus icon will shrink the menu. You can also access your palette from the small menu. The menu stays open unless you click on that icon. In Calipeg 1.8, you can now use image reference. 
Tap on the reference icon here to open your image reference window. Tap on the import icon and choose the image you want to use as a reference. Long touch on the reference window to move it anywhere. Drag the corner at the bottom right of the window to change the size of the window. You can zoom in or out with your fingers. Rotate your image with this icon. Tap on this icon to fit your image to the size of the window. Tap on the plus icon to add a new reference window. That way you can have multiple image references. In Calipeg 1.8, you can now import and export PSD files. Go to your settings in the export tab. To export a PSD as a single image, select image in the type and PSD in the format. You can choose your image with the slider under the preview. And then tap on export to export it. You will get a PSD with a single image composed of your different layers. To export a PSD as a sequence, select sequence in the type. You will get a PSD file with all your layers and all your drawing sheets. Now let's go to the studio to see how you can import a PSD file. Tap on import, then files, and tap on your PSD file. Import vertically if you want to import a single image. This will import a single image with all your layers, but no animation. If I want to import a PSD that contains an animation, I tap on Import, Files, and on my PSD file, and I choose to import horizontally. It will import all your layers and all your drawing sheets, but with no timing information. The PSD import does not include the blending mode. You can also import a PSD file by tapping on the import icon above the layers. Let's talk about image sequence import and export. In the export settings, choose sequence for the type and PNG for the format. You can choose to export with structure and to export one image per sheet depending on your needs. To manage the naming of your exported files, tap on the new file name tab. You can set the name of the folders you will create in this area and you can drag elements from here to there. That way you can add elements to the name. Separators are added automatically. Tap on it to choose between two separators options. You can tap on the name to choose between layer or shot. You can choose your own number format. You can see here a preview of the name of your folder. You can drag a text node and type your own text. To delete an element, drag it to the trash icon. The process is the same for the image file naming in this area. To import an image sequence, tap on Import, Sequence, and choose the folder containing your image sequence. In the Import window, you can choose which folder and which files will be imported. They are all selected by default. A folder will be imported as a layer, and an image file will be imported as a drawing sheet. And now I have all my layers and drawings in my shot. Each image file is one frame long. We also added new export features to export your work to other programs. Go to your settings, export tab. In type, select sequence. And in format, select JSON. One type of JSON will export to After Effects and Harmony. And another JSON will export to TV Paint. Tap on the links on the right side to learn how to import your work in those programs. You can also export in OCA format, which can be imported in Blender. We hope you'll enjoy the new features of Calipeg 1.8. Stay safe and have fun animating.